Welcome back at Robo CNC. Um, a small video today, not really CNC related. I have a manual lathe, a small Chinese benchtop uh, lathe sold at many different brands. So I'm not even going to name my one. Um, it's, it's a small lathe and to change speeds I had to uh, set the belt at different pulleys. Um, I wanted uh, a variable drive speed with a, with a knob in the on a control panel and uh, today I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I brought you up somewhat closer to the lathe to see the overview of the machine. Um, the old panel which was this one with a brand name I don't even want to talk about but um, this is the old panel that was sitting on here. Over here you can see the six speeds um, was 125 up to 2000 rpms um, well 2000 rpms I, I've never really used 2000 rpms and even 1000 is a lot of rpms uh, for the jobs I do so well anyhow we can still uh, use all these for now we have the same button to power up the machine. We see we have an RPM readout. We have three buttons. Clockwise, uh, the normal rotations and the other way around. A stop button and a speed control. I can start the machine at the slowest RPM is 100 revolutions a minute. So let's open up the lathe. Over here we see the complete drive train of the lathe. We have the new motor, the new pulley, the original timing belt, the original timing pulley and belt pulleys. So almost everything is original except for the motor and uh, the pulley on it. The original motor was a single phase 230 volt motor, 550 watts and um, they claim it to be about 3 newton meters. Well, this motor uh, is not that standard. Um, most motors are standardized. This is a 71 size motor. This one is a 71 size motor except for the shaft. The shaft is wider and it's longer. Because of the differences in the shaft diameter and length of the new motor, um, we, could not, we could not make use of the original pulley. This is the original pulley that was on uh, the motor shaft, um, but as it was small, uh, bigger, I did try to make a bushing uh, to make use of this pulley and that worked fine but still I did not have the length uh, to align these two pulleys. Uh, we had to align this one with this one and it was just not possible because of shaft uh, length. Okay, Because the direct drive from motor to the spindle, because the spindle is in line with this pulley, this is the spindle shaft. Because a direct drive was not that easy, I went with the timing belt set up going to this original pulley and from this original pulley we go to the spindle. We still have three options for the belt. The, the timing pulley used on the motor is a 22 teeth T5 type uh, pulley. This original pulley is 90 teeth and together with this belt setup I have a, a, a ratio of about 
6, 6.04 ratio. All in all to make this project work we used a three phase motor. This is a three phase 220 volt motor. So to make this a variable drive we use a frequency inverter or a VFD, variable frequency drive, that's mounted on the back side of the lathe. It's wired to the control panel to control the frequency of the motor which, in the, uh, which results in different speeds of the motor, uh, a pulley ratio to have a variable drive. All wiring, all sensor information, uh, information on the VFD uh, stuff will be found uh, on, the, on my website. Uh, links are down in the description. So what motor are we going to buy to drive our lathe? Well first of all we downloaded the MT document, MT motors. So this is the brand, uh, links will be provided. The designation of the motor we can see here. First we need the type, the size, uh, the power, uh, poles, uh, the voltage, frequency, uh, the protection uh, rate, uh, insulation protection and the uh, uh, mounting uh, position. So, to find out what we need we have to go further in this document. First of all, the type of motor will be TN, which is a single speed three phase motor and uh, so we can drive it by VFD. So we need a TN type motor. The mounting will be a B3, which is the standard uh, motor with, with feet. So it is the same as the original motor. Uh, no drilling, no difficult mounting solutions, just the original mounting. So B3 type mounting. Okay, um, we're not gonna use the 400 volts, we're gonna use a three phase 230 volt motor. So we're gonna power it in a uh, triangle, not in star configuration, but in triangle configuration at 230 volts. Okay, choosing the TN type motor. Well, the TN type motor comes in a lot of sizes from 55 um, up till 355. Well, the, the, mount, the, the mount and the size of the original motor is a 71 size motor. So we have three options on this page, the 71 ABC and the 71 ABC on this page. Well, the difference between these two is this is a two pole motor, this is a four pole motor. The four pole motor gives us uh, 1500 revolutions a minute and the two pole motor gives us 3000 revolutions a minute. Well we could not go with the direct drive from motor to uh, the spindle so we've chosen the 3000 rpm motor the two pole so let's throw this one away. So we have three options left, the 71, A, B and C. And the difference between these three motors is uh, this is 370 watts of power, uh, 550 watts of power and 750 watts of power. So easy, it's, it's, all three motors are the same size so let's go with the biggest, the most powerful one. So before we go even further we can already uh, order our motor. It's a TN type, it's a 71 size, it's a 750 watts, so a 0.75 kilowatt motor. It has two poles, 230 volts, 50 hertz, uh, the standard protection rate for water is IP, uh, IP55, which is great for me, a standard CLF insulation is great for me, and the B3 type uh, mount. So, 
So let's have a look at this motor. It's the 71C two pole motor. 750 watts. It's one horsepower. It has 2820 RPMs. And most importantly, we have 2.5 newton meters of torque. Nominal torque. So on this page, we can see that the nominal torque is only available to us between, well, let's say, 35 hertz and 50 hertz. If my frequency is less than 35 hertz, so if I ramp it down, you can see the torque drops. And same applies above 50 hertz. For example, at 10 hertz, if we set the speed at 10 hertz at the motor, we only have 0 0.6, a 0 0.6 factor. So the nominal torque is two and a half. So multiply it by 0 0.6, and then we have the actual torque at 10 hertz. Same applies for all the other frequency. So first of all, this document will be supplied uh, at uh, my website, links can be found in the description. Having a look at the, the standard motor, we had six different belt options. Um, these are the RPMs at the different belt options, 125, 210, 420, 620, 1000 and 2000. This is the belt position that was used. We have six different belt positions. So the motor, the standard motor, always has 1400 RPMs. Over here we see the gear ratio. If um, we drop the, the, the actual spindle speed to 125, we have a gear ratio of 11.2. <coughs> At the motor uh, torque of 3 newton meters, this results at 33.6 newton meters at the spindle. Well, if we go up to 2000, this results in a 2.1 newton meter at the spindle. So, you can download this document and have a look at um, the, the standard motor settings. So, if we look at the motor we have chosen, the 71C, Two pole motor, 750 watts, 2.2 newton meters at about 3,000 RPMs. Um, well, I think I'm going to change this in the document because the real uh, RPMs are 2,820. So now we still have three belt options. We have belt D, belt E, and belt F, with three different uh, pulley ratios. Well, I, I've shown you, I was running in the middle setting, so belt position E. I can drive 125, um, 125 RPMs at a frequency of 12.5. When we go to this document, we can see that at 12.5 uh, we have a constant factor, the factor to take in, a, uh, take in account for the torque of 0 0.65 so multiply 0 0.65 uh, times the two and a half newton meters and multiply it by the gear ratio of 6.04 we have 1.625 newton meters at the motor shaft which results in 9.81 or 9.82 newton meters at the spindle So what does this tell me? Well, I have somewhat less than 10 newton meters at the spindle, and with the original motor I had 33 at the spindle. So I colored this number red. Red tells you um, that I have less torque than the original motor in this setting. On 210 uh, RPMs, I still have somewhat less torque than the original motor, but going up, 
420, 620, we have much more torque than the original motor. Uh, maximum speed at this belt setting is 885 RPMs, which is 90 Hz. Well, I think for, let's say, 95% of my work, when I want to have 125 RPMs, mostly it will be for treading operations or stuff like that. I will be fine with the 10 newton meters of torque and I, I will not need the 33. Well, if for whatever reason you do need more torque, yeah, you could set the belt position to belt position D, which has a 9.93 ratio. Having a look at that belt position, I can uh, drive from, uh, let's have a look, D60 RPMs up to 538 RPMs. At 125, I still have less than the original motor. I'm not going to reach this one in any belt setting, but I have about 20 newton meters at the spindle, which is plenty if you ask me. So. After that I have 24 at 210, which is already more than the original motor. So the only setting I cannot uh, reach is the 125 RPMs. So again, let's go back to belt setting E with the 6.04 gear ratio or belt ratio. Um, I have a speed setting, belt E 100 up to 8. 85, 885 uh, RPMs. Well, again, 95% of everything I do can be done in this belt setting. I hardly ever need more speed than 885 RPMs. But again, if you do, you could set the belt to F and go all the way up to 1825. Yeah. Again, 2000, uh, we're not going to reach this one, or at least not at 90 hertz. Maybe you even want to ramp it up higher, but, well, 18, 25, 90 hertz. Still have uh, 4 newton meters of torque at the spindle, which is plenty at that, at that speed. So, this is what I came up to. The document will be found uh, can be found at my website. Have a look, and uh, if you uh, have any other ideas, if you think... I choose the uh, wrong motor, well just let me know. Okay guys that was about it on the subject uh, late variable VFD drive. Um, I know it's not a real CNC related uh, uh, project but well I make CNC machines and convert machines so I really need a late and making it a variable drive just is seemed right to do. Makes my life uh, a lot easier. Um, it was a lot of uh, finding out what type of motor do I need um, and I like to help people around here uh, who have the same problem and want to uh, make it a variable drive on their own lathes. Uh, I will uh, leave links in the description to my website. On our, uh, my website you can find all the different information about the companies I've used, links to uh, the different components. Um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below or go to my website read all about it and uh, leave your comments over there um, that's about it if you like this video please click the thumbs up button it's much appreciated and if you're not yet a subscriber please subscribe to our youtube channel and then i will see you in uh, the next video thanks and bye for now